Does anybody remember those Disney games that you could play on the Disney website? There would always be a new game once a new show on Disney XD was releasing or there was a new Disney movie releasing. Some of them were actually pretty high quality too. And they also released quite a bit of Tron games. So today we're going to be taking a look at all the Tron games because nostalgia and also because there's a lot of people out there that probably don't know these games exist. We're going to start off with the Tron Legacy games as I feel that those are the highest quality games. First we got Tron Legacy Disc Battle. Now this one was especially cool because it even had some codes that you could use for the game for cosmetic changes or even gameplay changes. Now our first opponent here is the Sentry which was pretty easy, but the difficulty gets harder and harder with every opponent. There's different opponents and I think there's a total of 4 or 5 of them if I remember. And one game in particular that I thought it was very reminiscent of, especially gameplay wise, is Discs of Tron. It was one of the arcade cabinets also released with the actual Tron arcade cabinet. And for those that have played it, you can probably already tell right away just from the game player that it's very close to Discs of Tron. But instead, it's just a more modern take of the arcade cabinet. Now here's some other opponents, including the Black Guard, the Gladiator, and of course we have Rinsler. He was very hard to fight at first, but of course he's going to be hard because it's literally Tron. And I was nervous because he has plot armor, but I came out on top because I'm just better than Rizzler. Everybody knows that, you know. No, but all jokes aside, this is a great game and I highly recommend playing it, even if it's just a Flash game. Like, I really enjoyed playing this and I think that any other Tron fan would enjoy it too. Now we're on the Tron Legacy website, which is also archived, surprisingly. Now this was really cool because you could actually make your own character in this. You could drive a light jet or you could drive a light cycle and just explore the grid. You can check out the arena, you can check out the end of line club and all sorts of things. Now of course this gameplay is light cycle oriented and I'll get to light jet gameplay later, but just look at this. This is beautiful for just a flash game and of course it's been very overlooked. Now here is some gameplay on the light jet which is actually amazing, it's on the same map as the light cycle of course, but this time you get a whole other view of the game grid, Tron City, and even the Outlands. Now I gotta say, with this game entirely, there isn't much combat or action at all, it's more of just like an exploration game where you get to explore the entire grid, but it is still very cool nonetheless, this is what I want out of a Tron game in the future. Maybe an MMO or something where you get to explore the grid, play with friends, and do different jobs in the grid. I think something like this would be awesome. Now this is the Tron light cycle game. Just like the Tron Disc Wars game, this also has a couple cheat codes, three to be exact, just like the last one. And the first two are just cosmetic changes, but the last one actually unlocks a track for you. And all the codes for these games will be down in the description, so if you want to know what they are, you can check them there. So this track is actually taking a lot of inspiration from the light cycle grid or the game grid from Tron Legacy, where the light cycle battle actually takes place. So you start off with a rolling start here, and the gameplay here actually reminds me a lot of uh, Tron Evolution, Battle Grids for the Wii, if anybody remembers that. That was a great game, and the racing here reminds me a lot of that. Now with that track out of the way, I'll show off some of the other tracks. There's five tracks in total, but I will only be showing off four of those tracks because I was not able to unlock the fifth track. I'm just not that good at this game. Now this track is actually called Clues Highway, but it's more so inspired by just the overall aesthetic of Tron City. But don't get me wrong, it is also a highway. I actually like this track much more than the last because you're not just looping around over and over again. There's much more obstacles and I've always just enjoyed the architecture of Tron City and it's nice to see that in here. Now this next track is called Flynn's Escape Route, it's kind of inspired by how Flynn escapes the grid I'm assuming. But either way it still takes place in Tron City which is awesome, but it's kind of like leaving Tron City in a way. Hence why it's called Flynn's Escape Route. And of course this is Kevin Flynn that we're talking about and not Sam Flynn, 
This is because Sam Flynn escaped through the games or the life cycle games, while Kevin escaped through Tron City after Clue betrayed him and Tron. I know it's funny because I said the same thing about the last one, but I actually prefer this track over the last one because there's a lot of cool things like recognizers flying over the track and other ground vehicles like that. I really like this map just for that alone. Because I'm not that great at this game, we're going to be switching over to some of the Tron Uprising Flash games. You really thought one program could make a difference? Why not? One program already did. Tron. Okay, so this game is actually called Tron Uprising Escape from Argon City, and this one kind of takes place at the first couple episodes of Tron Uprising and are guided through the story with these cutscenes that are just taken directly from the show, and it helps you figure out where you are in the story. So the Tron Uprising games aren't actually 3D per se, they're all 2D, but for what it's worth, I think that these games are still very enjoyable. This game actually reminds me of Metroid a lot, if anyone has played those games, gave me a lot of those vibes. Also, it's kind of surreal playing as Beck in a Tron Uprising game, because we've never had a Tron Uprising game before, except for these, obviously. And also, if you're not including Tron Runner, because that's not really a Tron Uprising game, it's just like, it has Beck, it has Mara, it has Tron, and it has Korra, which looks identical to Legacy Korra for some reason, I don't know. Alright, cutscene time. I'm ready. No, you're not. <laughs> There's also a cutscene that you unlock when you beat all the levels on reverse mode. Even though it's just a reused Tron Uprising scene, I'm still playing it. Turns out they weren't all Overall, this is a pretty fun game and I highly recommend checking it out. Now on to the next game. It's another Tron Uprising game. So this game is called Tron Uprising Grid Rush. It's similar to the gameplay style of an infinite runner, but it actually follows the story more than the last game did. Like levels will actually be tied to a certain episode in the show. Like the one I'm playing right now is related to the train episode, where Beck's friends are put into a train by black guards and sent to the games and Beck has to go catch the train before they're sent to the games. The main thing I prefer about this game than the last one is that every level is much different than the last one. In Tron Uprising Escape from Argon City, that was more maze based, so every level is different but it's just a maze. This game has a different vehicle and sometimes you're also running every level. Overall, I really don't mind this game, but if you don't like infinite runners, this game is probably not for you. Now you might be wondering how you can access these games. You can access them with Flashpoint. Flashpoint is an archive for Adobe Flash Player with all the games already loaded on it. All you have to do is search for a game and you can download it right on the app. All the games that I've played here today are available on there. No, I was not asked by them to make this video. It's just the software that I used and I felt it was easiest to use this. You can access the link for this app in the description down below. I've also put some of the cheat codes for some of the games I played here today in the description too, so don't worry, you won't have to search for much. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It took a while to cover everything, but that should be it for now. End of line.